Hey BioHonor students, this is Mr. Wolf, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the building, food chains, and food web activity that's based off an HHMI activity we would have done in class if we were in school. So for this activity, we've built a couple things for you. The first is going to be this Google Form. This Google Form is going to be the main thing that you turn in. We'll be answering all the questions and uploading actually some Google Drawings that you'll be creating through this activity. So the Google Form will ask you to enter your name, class, and so forth. But then it's divided into parts. Part one is going to be identifying relationships. For this part of the activity, you're going to need to go back to classroom and actually open up this Gorongosa card set. So these cards list all the information you'll need to complete this activity. On these cards, you'll see all the organisms and their habitat, their diet, the predators that might eat them, and the kind of social groupings that they're found in. And so you'll have to scroll through all these cards to kind of answer some of the questions that you'll find in this activity. Now, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this card set, you'll notice that there are some cards labeled like drought, agriculture, deforestation, war, fires, increasing human population, tourism. This was part of the activity we would do in class where you get to introduce a, a disturbance into the ecosystem. We're not going to do this part on the e-learning activity, so you can ignore those cards. So once you've completed part one, you moved on to part two, where you actually start building a food chain and an energy pyramid. In this part, you'll need the Google Drawing that's also found on Classroom. So this drawing, labeled part one and part two, you'll be constructing a food chain and an energy pyramid using those cards and the information on those cards from the PDF document. All you have to do is drag these cards into their appropriate spot, build your food chain, and build your energy pyramid. Okay, all the instructions are listed for you in the actual Google form. Part three has you create a food web. This will need the second drawing that's listed in Google Classroom. In this activity, you'll be dragging the same card set into the drawing pane, but also using the arrow function in Google Drawings to create connections between the different organisms. So this activity is going to give you a way to virtually model food chains, food webs, and energy pyramids. I hope you understand it. It's the first time we've done this on a virtual platform, so if you have any questions, please email me. I hope you learned something, have fun, and thanks for watching.